physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about the knees over toes approach mm. for Nick fixing knee pain. There you go, Bob. So, for years, Brad and I would say, don't put your knees over your toes when you're doing any activity. So, right here, my knee is, and that's over the toes. The we vertical saying, line. Yeah, keep behind the knee. Well, it's because it puts less pressure on it the knee. It does put less pressure on the knee, and it is sound because it can cause knee injury. Right. But the problem is in th when you work through life, you're going to put your knees over your toes. Right. It's a n functional uh, mechanics of the body going up and down stairs, right. bending over, running, all kinds of things. So we've evolved in our thinking <laughs> – and we're thinking you want to do it in a controlled right, fashion right. so that when you do have to do it, you have the strength to do it. Yeah, and, and I do not change my mind very easy or jump into the bandwagon. It takes me a lot longer than Bob. But That's I, true. We were just discussing. I definitely agree. This guy who's uh, Ben Patrick. Ben Patrick, uh, yeah. he's, a, he's a fine, intelligent young man. He's, he's developed a system, and we're kind of – yeah. Using like some of that said, information. Like you said, a lot of it's not really new, but he's the way he's bunched it together is, is yeah, new. Yeah, has made it acceptable to even people like me. So we'll put a <laughs> link below uh, as to where you can you can follow his program specifically. Sure. I'm, we're just going to show you some of his exercises. This is for the Zero program, and he starts everybody – on this program, and then some people go to, on to a more advanced program. So zero means that's the beginner? Zero start, okay. yeah. So Not that you're a zero, but that's just the program. The website is A-T-G-O-N-L-I-N-E coaching.com. At Gonline Coaching. It's A-T-G online coaching. Yeah. Com. Okay, let's start with the first one. I'm, we're going to show you seven of his exercises today. Sure. The first one is just backwards walking. And there's cultures like the Asian culture we were talking about uh, before the video. They, they're big, they were big onto this way before we were Did, into backwards walking. You sure? Yes. <laughs> the Chinese <laughs> culture. I actually have some Asian people in our neighborhood that – have been practicing this for years. I, I, I see them. I like Did to, you ever question it? Did no, I didn't. Them? But not, I one my wife talked to one of them lately, and she said, yeah, I walk up hills backwards. Sure. And, I, and, and again, the idea is that you're strengthening the muscles that you aren't, normally would strengthen. Mm -hmm. You're going to improve your balance. Right. You're going to put different stresses on the knee. Yep. You get a little knees over toes action. So, sure. So, um, and we're not going to talk about adding resistance to this. This is a zero program. So you just got to be careful, you know, because yeah, you can't you, see where you're going. You don't want to fall because exactly. of something silly. So, uh, you know, use uh, something yeah, to hold on to. Please don't fall. Yeah. So next one is tibialis anterior. That's the muscle that runs right here and attaches up around by the knee. Not usually thought of when you uh, think of the knee pain. Right. And uh, but he was kind of big into this. So that so. that's the muscle that's responsible for pulling your ankle and your foot up like this yeah so what he does is very simply on the zero program you can lean against the wall or something or lean against a chair and you're just going to bring your toes up like this to so rack back up on the heels yep as far as you feel comfortable can you move your hips back like sure, that to sure okay and you can actually go one foot at a time um, if you get better at it. Yeah, that's quite a bit harder. Yes, it is. It's a nice balance exercise as well. Right. Okay, next one is calf raises. Very simple. We've done these for years. So you're going to go ahead and do the same thing. You can raise up onto your calves, and you can go to a single calf a after a while. Mm. Okay, and he also does knees over toes calf raises. Oh, so yeah. So you kind of... Lean forward a little bit here and make sure you get the calf, the knee over the, uh, the toes, and then you go ahead and do the raises. It, that really makes sense because obviously when you do that, you're emphasizing different muscles right. versus at the knee straight uh, from a therapist's point of view. Exactly. All right, next one, Brad, you're going to show step forwards. So here I'm going here, and the, the goal is, is if you can do this, easy, then reach out a little farther, then your knee goes over your toes farther and you're working 
particularly those quads, you're getting some nice eccentric and concentric strength. You get to the point where you don't even touch. Touch right? what? You don't touch the ground with the oh, forward Oh, it, it just, yeah, it's yeah. like doing a pistol a, squat. A split squat, yeah, a yeah, pistol squat. Oh, there, that's working good. All right, number six, uh, you, this one you do need the incline board. Yeah. Um, so you would be on the incline board like this, and you can do some squats, and it's going to make it a lot easier for you to squat. It all makes the way it down. a lot more comfortable. I can't squat all the way down unless I have the board. incline board. Yeah. Yes. It, just like this one has a really, and this is a from Ben, it's a really nice anti slip surface. It's almost like right. sandpaper. But there's a lot of boards on, or they're made out of styrofoam, or I mean, not styrofoam, yeah. just uh, foam. I'm just saying, if yeah. they don't slip at all, it makes a big right. difference. If you got right. any slip at all, it makes you feel uncomfortable. All right. And the last one is split squats. Ah. So this is a little bit tougher. I think if you use a chair or something on the side of you, yeah. you're going to bring the leg forward. And you just dip down like this. Now, as you work on these, you'll get stronger. Um, you may start off with a pillow underneath the knee. And you may want to just use your arms a lot sure. to start. And the better you get, the more you can move your knees forward. Like I, on myself, when I get pretty far forward, my knee does not feel good. So I'm not going to go that far. Yeah. I'm going to go just before it. And eventually, that should improve and we'll get a stronger knee with that flexion. Again, the purpose of this program was to just give you an idea of what he offers. Sure. Um, this program, by the way, this, this video is part of oh, a series yeah. of videos on knee pain. So if you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the program section and check out the one on knee pain, then you'll see, you can watch the ones that pertain to you. Yeah, there'll be like 40 different videos. Just scroll through them, look at the titles. You see one that pertains to you, watch the video and click on the PDF printout. It'll have a nice review, exercises, pictures uh, from the video so you can use that for reference in the future so you don't have to keep referring back to the video all the time. It's a good deal. It doesn't cost you anything, not right. even your... We don't charge. Not even your email, which is... You right. Know, almost everybody wants your emails. And yeah, that's right. You know right. what that's for. You can so. give us your email if you want to. Yeah, but, you know, it's not necessary. No need to. So. Very good. Good luck with those knees. Yep, thanks for watching.